Well, this was not part of the plan, really, but I thought, why not? Sawhorses, trestles, they're part of uh, the carpenter's trade, the uh, timber framer's trade, and the history of sawhorses actually goes way back. Uh, here are some sawhorses, and I thought, you know, I'll just take the opportunity to, to show these. I actually think in the, in the painting, The Last Supper, uh, Jesus and the disciples are sitting at a table that is resting on sawhorses. Anyway, uh, why I thought these sawhorses were worthy to show you, let me back up so you can see the pair, is because for one thing I recycled them. Uh, what's painted uh, uh, red, and incidentally in my opinion the only reason to ever paint wood is so that you can paint it again. I never paint wood that has not already been painted. And anyway, you can see what was the original and then what I just added to make them strong enough. Uh, what I want these two uh, sawhorses to do is to support uh, these two uh, tabletops uh, that uh, my, my sister's husband uh, had built at one point. They're, they have very good, very good surfaces, but but the, uh, what's holding the surfaces up is not so good. Well, I can show you some things. I mean, I obviously I, I put this in to keep the legs from spreading, and I, I put this in to do more than that board. You see, this is a one by uh, uh, a two by four, but it's one and a half. I left that one there. I thought, why not? I rather like the fact that the uh, beams, I'll call them this part are so strong. Uh, I like these sawhorses. But anyway, I, I put a spreader then between the two legs to keep them right, and uh, I don't know why that angle came off so bad. That troubles me. But uh, those braces, if it weren't for them, the whole business would sway. Now, one other thing I wanted to show you, uh, well, I've added this piece here because they weren't quite long enough to, to reach. Uh, this uh, this other sawhorse, I, I haven't uh, fastened that piece on. Now all this lumber is re all this lumber is recycled, uh, and I'd like to point out that I did not drive any of these nails home, as we say, home. I did not drive them home yet because I wasn't sure. You don't want to drive nails home until you're sure of everything. And this nail that started to bend. I left it and then drove a second nail and once I have that home, well then I'll pull this nail because everything will be stronger. Uh, oh, and uh, still one other thing, when I drive them nails home, there's something which I think I'm going to call the anvil effect. When I go to drive that nail, I'm going to take a sledgehammer and put it right opposite it. Uh, if I had somebody holding the camera, I could show you, this will bounce, this will bounce. But that way I can drive that. And, and you really, later on maybe I'll show you more. If, for example, you were pounding down on these sawhorses, you would want to pound down here, right over the legs, as close to the legs as you could, because that way you get the most of the anvil effect. Well, as I say, I'm sure you didn't expect that, but it's the humanities includes uh, construction, carpentry, and that's the building trades. Alright, maybe uh, I'll come up with a second video today. Bye-bye.